I've been on albums, traveled the world, and performed on television platforms. I've produced Grammy winning records that's been on Billboard 100. And now with the family, it's all about legacy. Crawford Family Game. So since I've quit my job, I've had a lot more time to go ahead and get everything straightened up, get all the projects around the house finished that need to be finished, one of which being the studio. So being that I'm working on my studio, listen, that's the hardest thing ever, being that I can build and produce, but then you got to have the atmosphere right. If you ask my wife how many different changes I done been through. True. <laughs> listen. My studio went from the Chris Brown project with paint everywhere <laughs> to now I'm gonna do all black to now I'm gonna do all I'm gonna do all white to now I'm gonna do uh, caramel just I've been everywhere. So we took all day looking for that one chair. And I said, wife, if you could find me a chair for $10. <laughs> Tell the interior designer that they got a $10 budget. But <laughs> I said, wife, if you could find me a chair for $10, I love you forever. <laughs> And guess what? The interior designer. Interiors are like 100 to 400 dollars. Yeah, bro. For the 35. For the Not only did she find the ten dollar chair, but she found me another chair that matched with the whole room. So it didn't take a thousand dollar budget to get this done. The enterprise is all complete. Time to work. I am looking forward to the day when I have someone to watch my girls and I don't have to worry about anything. I had a really, really difficult on edge experience. Um, and it's on edge for me. I'm a little bit extra, I will say that. So I set some dates and I got a late confirmation for them, which meant that I had to find my babysitter. This is a holiday weekend. So the one, the one babysitter I was using she's going to be out of town for the weekend. So I was just like wrecking my brain and I'm like having a meltdown low key in my head. But a calm came over me and I thought of a friend of ours who is just one of the greatest people I've ever met. And she's going to be watching our girls. So it <laughs> It all worked itself out, but you know, it's so important for me to make sure that the one childhood they have is perfect, as perfect as it possibly can be. (laughs) 
I'm gonna do his uh, voiceover since he sleeps. So yeah, yeah, you know. So here I am at a client who you know they hit us up uh, about about uh, a month ago, and uh, they needed some drywall done. But see what happened was they had water damage behind the the wall, so they had to open it up, and they were told to leave it open for about a month. So a month came and it went, and now you know we had the job still. So they called us up, and I went in, and I, I, you know, it was in a zigzag pattern. And I was like, I ain't doing all that. So what I decided to do was just cut it on out, make, make it long enough for me to just put a nice little sheet, a, a, a sheet rock in there, like you see me do right here. And then I added in these, these, uh, these joists, not not joists, uh, these two by fours, these pieces of wood. You get what I'm trying to say. And I drilled in, I drilled in the 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 the, the sheetrock, and then you're gonna see me go through my process of knocking this thing out and making it look like nobody was ever there. Well, that's what we doing. <laughs> that's what we doing while I'm asleep. I mean, I didn't want to wake you, so you're really tired. Okay, so you trying to get me like Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve said you ain't supposed to be asleep because they're making decisions. So you making decisions to do my voiceovers for me? I mean, yo, was sleep. <laughs> and they out here making decisions about your life and yo, was sleep. <laughs> what you sleep for? <laughs> she caught me slipping. She caught me slipping Listen. for real. I get what you say, Uncle Steve, but uh, it's only I one of you. I was tired, boss. So he was she so did alright though. She did okay. I know but I did. I'm not that country. I know I did. Oh, I'm not that country. Not that country. I, I, I said I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm, I'm country. Not that country. Con. <laughs> That's how y'all doing in the train for? No, it's not. That's just you. <laughs> That's your extra twang. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so the holidays is coming, and in my book, that's cookout season. <laughs> Time to eat. For sure. Oh. <laughs> But <laughs> we have been talking about getting these bodies right. I'm a little bit, little bit large, and I'm a little too small. So I got to eat. Yeah, we got to get. But it right. I need to eat the right way and try to build some muscle. Cause since I had somebody who likes to be right here all the time, I keep losing weight. So I'm like. 15 pounds too small? And I'm like 40 pounds too big. <laughs> so we gotta get right. Yeah. But after the holiday. Yeah, the full <laughs> come on now. You got to you got to eat a little bit of something. <laughs> so I just been looking at like you remind me of him and uh there's one of them. Recording of children can pose a small change in the recording process. It's a challenge, a bit of a challenge. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Mommy's coming, okay? I need you to be quiet. Skyler, shh. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that <laughs> because you're doing it while I'm recording. So just be quiet. Don't say shh. Just. Yeah, just. Inaudible. Just. But then, then she does that. Then it's gonna be my. Jaw noise is so. It's not. It's all the same. She's gonna try to whisper, and it's yeah. gonna get louder. That's gonna be an issue. So where it may have taken. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes on a good day. 
you know, we come in and we're we both prepared, we ready. Bam, 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 done. 30 minutes, one song. Not now. Two hours. <laughs> Easy, two hours, tops. So With the break, go. possibly in between the two hours. Basically, and me taking, I have a picture. Yeah, when I was doing this life album, yep. I had one right here standing beside me and the baby in my arm. The microphone. Yep. Right that's the new dynamic. Yeah. It's the new normal. So what you get what you gotta do? Work with it. Go with it. Let's, let's paint the sunrise and the liquid sunshine. Let's Let's paint the blue skies and the stars at night. We're back in the studio. <laughs> Finally. Maybe one on one. Maybe one on one or not. And drum roll, please. <laughs> Guess who our first client is, y'all? Desiree, Desiree Ross. Ross. Desiree Ross is an extremely talented actress you've seen on the hit show Greenleaf. She portrays the role of Sophia Greenleaf, Grace's daughter. She is definitely killing it on screen, and she's a total sweetheart off camera. What you gotta do? Watch. What you gotta do? Share. What you gotta do? Spread. What you gotta do? Watch. What you gotta do? Share. What you gotta do? Spread. 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 Spread